trailer that I'm getting ready to watch now has been on my to watch list for quite some time. A few weeks at least, I think. And the reason that I was interested to check it out is because, well, it's a horror movie. It's called Devil's Revenge. Kind of a cheap, cheapy, um, I mean, corny, corny, cheesy title. But the thumbnail was like this jacked up, nasty looking demon face or something. Looked like it was someone laying on a, on a bed like their head was on a pillow and it was like just a really weird looking face but I was curious to see what that was about um, I'm having a feeling this is probably gonna be pretty low budget type of production but I'm interested to check it out so let's go ahead and do that now that scene looks familiar like I've seen that particular cave in another movie well, we gotta get down there. or the opening anyway That's why William Shatner's in it, because the writer was Star Trek. I saw it was in your mind. Uh, it's arrogant to think we can defeat the devil. I'll distract him. Give you time to get Susan and the kids in. Oh, that was that face I saw. Okay, so... So that, that at first I was thinking that William Shatner is like a bad guy in here, but then, I mean, unless I was just reading incorrectly into um you know th the scenes before that but towards the end it seems like he's he's helping and he wants to try to save the wife and kids or something like that so maybe he's not bad but um yeah this is kind of what i thought it was going to be pretty pretty cheesy low quality um budget type horror film uh that's not really going to stop me from wanting to watch it i'll still watch it whenever it comes around somewhere on my streaming services the thing about this trailer, though, is that it was under two minutes long. It's under a minute and 48 seconds. So about a minute and 45 seconds. And yet it felt like it was a bit long. There was a, there was a trailer that I recently watched. Gosh, what one was it? It was one I just, I just recorded, like, today, earlier today. Shoot. Oh, the one with Robert Patrick. Tone deaf or something like that. Um, that one was about two minutes. That one did not feel long. It felt like it did a very good job of, of, you know, laying out the narrative for you. This one was shorter, and yet it felt like they went too far. Like they did not need to show as much as they showed. So it's, you know, I, it, this is a pattern, or not really a pattern, but this is something that I've noticed with some trailers. They can be long and not feel like it, and they feel like they're they're very well done. They can be short and feel like they're just way too long like they the way they flowed the story in the trailer just doesn't it just feels too like too much like they went overboard so this one looks um you know like something i'll definitely check out like i said i'm kind of surprised to see william shatner um you don't really see him too much in movies anymore or if you do i well i guess maybe it's because he's in movies like this pretty low budget like low Maybe he did this for a friend. Maybe the writer is a friend of his because it said this guy worked on Star Trek The Next Generation. Now, I know William Shatner wasn't, he wasn't really connected to that Star Trek. It was the original and the original movies. But still, maybe somebody knows. Maybe they made the connection because of Star Wars and he just decided to do it for a friend. So, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, 
it doesn't look like it's going to be that great of a movie, but I will. I'll probably still watch it. Got a low bar when it comes to stuff like that, like I've mentioned. So uh, anyway, okay, well, whenever I get around to it, I'll come back here and tell you guys what I think. I highly doubt this is going to be a movie that I feel inclined to make a video review about. So I would say that's not going to be something I'll do. But I'll leave a comment whenever I get around to watching it. Don't even know when it's coming out. Let me check and see. Okay. Oh, you know, I have not had this in my list for as long as I thought I did. This this was dated September 9th. So, dang, it felt like it had been on my list forever, unless maybe it was another rendition of this trailer on somebody else's channel. But, oh, well, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Time, sometimes I have a really messed up concept of time. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now, you guys. I have got to get back to work. Bye. Bye.